Hey guys, I'm back. So, um, I recently came back from Japan, and when I was there, I got a bunch of candy, confectionery, and I thought I would share my thoughts on what they taste like with you guys. So let's get started. So, firstly, some of them I plainly just bought because it referenced some Studio Ghibli movies. So, let's try this one. This is like Contacto. Uh, it's, this one is like stuff from. Whatchamacallit? That movie, Studio Ghibli movie. Uh, Spirit Away, the, the little black dust things where they get fed these. So, let's give them a try. Honestly, I think these are just like sugar for food covering. But here it goes. Looks like this. It's quite a neutral taste with this one. Quite country. Not sure if you're meant to bite on it or suck on it. But actually, it's, it's, it's quite nice. It's not like really sweet or anything. So that's Contacto. Um, let's try the next one. Next to your Ghibli one that I saw was this one. Uh, Sakuma's Drop. Pretty much beads are from Grave of the Fireflies. Um, one of the much more older Super Ghibli movies, but let's see how they taste. Alright, I need a can of this, I need a tool. Alright, let's use a screwdriver. Okay, got it. This is quite tough to cut out. Let's see there in the fish. Uh, oh, whoops, over here. Oh, see. Okay, yeah, so they're just like, um, kind of like gumdrops. They're like, obviously, fruity flavored. Fruity flavored, um, kind of suck on them candies kind of thing. Oh, yeah. yeah, these are quite alright. Alright, let's keep moving on. Some of the other ones. Okay, time for the next one. And let's try these ones. I have no idea what these are called, but they had a few of them. We saw them quite around, quite, um, they were quite prevalent everywhere. So let's try them. And this, I'm assuming, is grape flavor. So let's just rip it open. Oh, and it. Well, that's that's a strong smell. They're like little grapes with like a skin. Uh, let's try it. It's quite sweet. I, it kind of tastes like grape, but not really. So that's a grape one. Um, try the strawberry one now. Oh wow, that smell is very artificial. Wow. Okay, so this is the strawberry one. Um, yeah, it has like little seeds, and then I'm not sure if you can focus. Focus? Nope. Okay, it's same thing. It's like kind of like it's. There's like a skin mesh around it. Kind of looks like more of a tomato than a sorry, but okay. Hmm. I mean, my experience with Japan generally don't go for the strawberry stuff. I think the grape is much better. All right, let's 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 keep moving. That that's was these two things, like around a hundred yen or maybe around ninety yen, depending on where you get them. Um, okay, let's move on to something everyone knows. K 
Kit Kat. Everyone loves Kit Kat. I got a whole bunch of Kit Kat. Because I love Kit Kat, people love Kit Kat. Alright, so we'll start off with this one. Matcha. Matcha. Kit Kat. Now I love me some matcha Kit Kat. Matcha Kit Kat is great. Uh, as you can see, I know. It's not really changed much. Green packaging. Open it up. And we get this. Some matcha Kit Kat. This. Break. Oh, 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 okay, that made a bit of a mess. So, same thing. Wait for just green. I mean, yeah, tastes like matcha. is isn't too sweet. It's quite more savory, but um, some people who may not like like matcha as itself, you do taste the flavor quite. It's this is quite better than matcha. Um, so maybe some people may like this, some people might not. Let's move on to this one. Uh, so Kit Kat again. I think this is just strawberry. So just... Okay, let's see. Let's see if this can break the strawberry curse. So this one's red packaging. All right, let's. Okay, so there's a pink Kit Kat. Let's take a bite. Yeah. Mmm. Um. Mm, yeah, nothing like fresh strawberries. <laughs> it's very. Like some bites you get out of it, it tastes like strawberry, but then the majority of it, like the icing, isn't so much strawberry like, but fake strawberry. And. This one. So I think this is like a mixed berries kind with white chocolate inspired by Kit Kat chocolate here. Okay, so this one was a bit more expensive because it's a bit more fancy. So we're getting fancy up in here. Oh, okay. Um, I was expecting, you know, something like this. But instead, we got this. So, this is just one. This is one Kit Kat. Oh, well, half of a Kit Kat. Okay, let's give it a goo. So, this is like the premium stuff. That doesn't look very nice from the camera, but we'll give it a go. You know what? This tastes much better than this one. Mainly because the whole thing isn't um, strawberry, it's white chocolate, and they put like bits. Bits of fresh strawberry and nuts and stuff there. It's not focusing, but yeah. That one's quite nice. Alright, now we're going to more premium. This is Kofap, the Ushinshu apple. We can only get this in um, part of the region, one one of the regions in Japan. So these aren't sold everywhere. Um, how do we open this? Okay, that was easy. Back is fancy packaging. Okay, slide this open. Oh, look at this. This this just screams out premium. It was very premium. Um, it was like around 900 yen, so around a bit more than nine dollars in Australian, so maybe up to 950 AUD. Uh, so the packaging itself gets a much prettier packaging. Um, let's give it a go. I better not get sick when you know this chocolate and candy and stuff because it's quite a bit. <laughs> okay, 
So we have our normal chocolate base, but this should taste more like there should be an apple flavor. Alrighty. You get that? There's, there's, when you bite into it, you get that apple poof, poof, <laughs> the aroma of an apple, but, um, I don't know. It tastes funny. It tastes like one of those combinations which kind of works, but don't. I guess it depends on the individual, but... It doesn't look alright. Alright. Kit Kat's done. No, if it has a little, have a break, have a kick. Alright, Kit Kat, that's all done. So you had the apple, the more fancy strawberry, the matcha, oh, there's more fancy strawberry and the strawberry. Alright, now, again, this is Pocky, but great flavour and it's quite bigger. Alright, so let's give this a go. So this is Grape Pocky, again, this, I think, can only be bought in a certain region of Japan. So I get 900 yen, quite, quite pricey, but they do sell these individually for like a dollar. Oh no, I think my one's fine one which is snap. Okay, so they're all individually wrapped, like so. So it's one pocky. There's 15 of these, and you pay like around $9.50 in Australian, or 900 yen. So let's see if these are worth it. Let's open it up. Okay, so these are, oh wow. These are actually much more thicker than the average Pocky. I mean, this looks huge. <laughs> so great flavor. Let's see if this goes well. Much of a great fight, maybe it's because of all that kick out I had. Let's drink something. I mean, it's kind of there. It's not like overpowering, but just great. But you can taste some great. It's been drawing just the kind of like the stick. <laughs> the stick's huge, but then. The icing area is not as much. That's Pocky. Yeah, that was alright. It's, it's different. I think, um, compared to the strawberry and the chocolate one, the normal two Pockies, this one tastes much fresher. <laughs> fresher. <laughs> um, and yeah, um, let's see what else we have. Alright, so we're moving on to more of the hard stuff, so... Okay, well this is... Like an apple... Kind of chewing gum, or just like chewing candy kind of thing. Uh, so this one I was like, you know what? Let's give it a go. How bad can this go? Obviously it can go horribly wrong, but... Okay, let's go! Oh god, I can't even open it. I'm smart. This is a thing to, you know, open it. It's uh, whatever I was trying to do. Okay. Individual wrap. This is a little... Oh, candy. It's like softish. I mean, the, the flavor is quite nice. It does taste like apple, but there is some of the artificial taste, of course, but pretty close. See, this is, um, I gave in. I tried some of these because I bought all of these knowing I should save them for you guys to watch. Um, 
But just I had tried while I was in Japan, it actually is quite nice. If you guys had condensed milk before, it tastes like that, but in a candy form, which I like. It's quite nice. Um, but yeah, I won't do that one because it would take forever. Now we have something called pure puree. Um, it's new in I don't know. Um, in a support. I have really no clue what this stuff is. Uh, let's try it though. Maybe it's healthy. I mean, maybe it's like one is. I hope that's not one per thing. Is 4,500 okay, let's see. Let's see. It's like a bunch of little things in here. Alright, let's try, let's try peach. I had good experience with peach drinks. Okay, so it's like, um, the gummy candies with, um, the sour stuff. Sour powder over it. I mean, I quite like it. It's not very sugary, and the thing isn't overpowering with like the taste. Yeah, this is a safe thing to go with. Um, moving on to lemon drops. So again, this is like some kind of hard candy. Oh, uh, lemon thing. See. A common trend before these, they all have Ziploc stuff on them. Everything has Ziploc, so you can reseal it. You don't need like a rubber band or finish it in one go. Okay, these are like little balls, like, kinda, it has like a yellow shell, like so. I like gummo. That's not the My face is just starting to turn out like this, guys. Can't see some sweat. Um. Yeah, it's fairly sour. Has that lemon taste to it, definitely. Yeah, so this is one of the kinds you just keep chewing in your mouth, kind of. I'll finish this. Tell you guys my favorite one. Okay. So, favorite snack? Oh well, candy, chocolate. I would have to say condensed milk one. Even though I didn't actually try it in front of you guys, I really like this one because it's sweet. It's sweet and it tastes exactly what I expect it to be. I mean. It's like milk candy. That may throw some people off a bit. It's quite nice, milk candy. Milk candy, recommendation. Um, Kit Kat wise, my favorite Kit Kat. I would have to go with this one. Not that uh, since the apple one, but this one's quite nice. I mean, yes, they're individually packed, but they're very nice. And yeah, hope you guys like this video. If you want to see more videos like this with me trying new stuff, or just seeing me in general, leave a comment and if you like this video, drop a like and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this or to see more origami tutorials.